And today I will be laying a foundation for the next Sunday or so, however the Lord leads. Yo voy a estar haciendo una introducción, una fundación para los siguientes mensajes. In Luke 18 says, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith in the earth? En Lucas 18 la palabra dice que cuando el Hijo del Hombre vuelva a la tierra encontrará fe. We know that faith comes by hearing. Sabemos que la fe viene por el oír. Romans 10, 17 says this. Dice la palabra de Dios en Romanos 10, 17. In the Gospels in Revelation it says that he that has an ear to hear, let him hear. Y encontramos también en los evangelios en, en Apocalipsis que dice aquel que tenga un oído, oiga lo que la Biblia dice, lo que el Señor dice. Satan does not want you to hear. El enemigo no quiere que tú oigas. He's okay with you coming to church. Él está bien que tú vengas a la iglesia. But he wants to close your ears to the word of God. Pero él quiere que tú cierres tus oídos hacia la palabra de Dios. That is why so many can be distracted during the message. Es por esto que estamos tan distraídos durante el mensaje. On their phones or on Facebook or going in and out of the sanctuary because the devil doesn't care if you show up here. Estamos tan distraídos en nuestro celular, en Facebook, de adentro para afuera, porque el enemigo quiere que estemos distraídos en este lugar. He cares if you're listening to the word that is being spoken. A él le interesa que estés escuchando aquella palabra que está siendo hablada. And so he is after the hearing of the saints. Y él está, él quiere perseguir a los cristianos que están oyendo. The hearing of faith is what produces the true result of the word of God being hidden in our hearts. Y cuando escuchamos por fe, esto es lo que produce un, un resultado verdadero de la palabra de Dios cuando está en nuestros corazones. And that is where the transformation happens. Y aquí es cuando produce y pasa una transformación. So now faith is released by speaking. Y ahora la fe es, es liberada, es soltada cuando hablamos. We hear faith, Escuchamos fe. but we release faith through speaking. Pero liberamos fe cuando hablamos. If you have faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. La Biblia dice que si tienes un fe como un grano de mostaza, le dirás a esta montaña, le dirás a esta montaña, muévete, y ella será movida. So not only does he want to close our ears to hear the word, pero el enemigo no solamente quiere que nuestros oídos estén cerrados a la palabra de Dios. But he wants to shut your mouth so that you can't speak faith and release faith into the atmosphere. Y también quiere que tu boca esté cerrada para que no puedas hablar fe en la atmósfera. Faith is always vocal. La fe siempre tienes que decirla, tienes que hablarla. You either have what you say or you say what you have. Tú tienes lo que dices o tú dices lo que tienes. When you are not operating in faith, you simply say what you have. Cuando no estás operando en la fe, tú simplemente dices lo que tienes. And when you are operating in faith, you begin to have what you say. Pero cuando tú operas en la fe, tú comienzas a tener lo que dices. Are you going to preach with me today? ¿Vas a predicar conmigo hoy? You see, the doctor says you have cancer. And when you operate in faith, you simply, when you don't operate in faith, you simply say, I have cancer. Cuando el doctor te dice que tienes cáncer y no estás operando en la fe, tú dices, yo tengo cáncer. But when you begin to operate in faith, you hear the results. Pero cuando tú comienzas a operar en fe y escuchas los resultados. But you start speaking something totally different. Tú comienzas a decir algo totalmente diferente. Well, that's what the doctor said. Eso fue lo que el doctor dijo. But Lord, you are my healer Pero, and Señor, I receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Yo recibo sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. That's why the Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong, and let the poor say, I am rich. It's about time we start speaking in faith. Debemos a comenzar a hablar en fe. Start speaking what God is going to do. Comienza a hablar lo que el Señor va a hacer. Start speaking what God wants you to have. Comienza a hablar lo que tú quieres que el Señor haga. This doesn't mean that we're exempt from the works that we do. Y no significa que estamos... We got quiet right there. Vamos a dejar un lado las obras que hacemos. We're not exempt from following and meeting the faith with God. No significa que estamos exentos de no obedecer la palabra de Dios. You see, that's why when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, it changes your tongue. 
Es por eso que cuando el Espíritu Santo viene en tu vida, cambia tu lengua. They were just talking about in Acts chapter 2 when the Holy Ghost fell on them and they began to speak in other tongues. Estamos hablando de esto en Hechos 2 cuando el Espíritu Santo viene, ellos empiezan a hablar en nuevas lenguas. You see, when you receive the Holy Ghost, God comes in and takes charge of that unruly member. Cuando el Espíritu Santo viene a tu vida, él comienza a tomar este este esta parte de tu cuerpo. He takes charge of what you say because I want to operate in the abundant life that he has for me. Y él toma control de este cuerpo porque queremos andar en la vida abundante que él tiene para nosotros. All I got to say is is that we don't know what we speak. Y lo que tengo que decir es que no sabemos lo que estamos hablando. We don't know what's happening when the Holy Ghost is flowing through us. No sabemos lo que pasa cuando el Espíritu Santo está fluyendo en nosotros. But I guarantee you it's better than anything we could ever say through, the, through our finite mind. Pero te garantizo que es lo mejor que pudiéramos decir si estamos en nuestra mente. See, I want to prepare you for everything that God has for you. Yo quiero prepararte para, para todo aquello que el Señor tiene preparado para ti. And we need to pray and be mindful that we would hear and that we would speak in faith. Tenemos que orar y estar pendientes de hablar y de, y de orar en fe. If you have your Bibles with me, turn. If you have your Bibles, turn to 2 Timothy chapter number 2. Si tienes tu Biblia, vamos a leer en el libro de 2 Timoteo capítulo 2. And through the next few weeks, I want you to be studying in the book of Timothy. Just let it pour into your spirit. Les invito a que estemos estudiando en las siguientes semanas el libro de Timoteo y deja que llene tu vida, tu This is a tremendous principle in 2 Timothy 2, verse number 1. Hay un principio muy importante acá en 2 Timoteo, capítulo 2, versículo 1. We're going to do some reading. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Tú pues, hijo mío, esfuérzate en la gracia que es en Cristo Jesús. This is Paul's personal disciple, Timothy. El, el discípulo de Pablo, Timoteo. The letter that is written it says Timothy, but it's Paul writing to Timothy, his disciple. Es el libro de Timoteo, pero es Pablo dándole una, una carta, una enseñanza a Timoteo. Paul is giving him the mentality that he operates in. Y Pablo está compartiendo la mentalidad que él tenía, se la está compartiendo a Timoteo. It says, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Lo que has oído de mí ante muchos testigos, esto encarga a hombres fieles que sean idóneos para enseñar también a otros. Listen to this, I taught you as I was taught. Now you commit those things to faithful men and then teach them to be able to teach others also. Dice lo que has oído a mí de entre muchos testigos, esto encarga hombres fieles que sean idóneos para enseñar también a otros. You see, you can read through that really quick. Y podemos leer esto muy rápido. But what Paul was saying is, I became a disciple. Pero lo que Pablo está diciendo es que yo me convertí en un discípulo. Then I became a disciple maker. Y después un hacedor de discípulos. Now I'm teaching my disciple to teach other disciples. Y ahora le estoy enseñando a mis discípulos que enseñen a otros discípulos. This is an apostolic principle. This is why we were speaking during the Ghost series about going and making disciples. Es un principio apostólico. Es por esto que estábamos enseñando de ir y hacer discípulos. We are a disciple-making church. Somos una iglesia que hace discípulos. So, verse number three. Thou, therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ. Dice, tú pues sufre penalidades como buen soldado de Jesucristo. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Ninguno que milita se enrea en los negocios de la vida a fin de agradar aquel que lo tomó por soldado. And if any man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. Y también el que lucha como atleta no es coronado sino lucha legítimamente. The husbandman that laboreth must, must first be partaker of the fruits. El labrador para participar de los frutos debe trabajar primero. Listen to me, if you want others to bear fruit, you must first show them the fruit that you are bearing. Si tú, si tú quieres que otros tengan fruto, tú debes mostrarles que tú también tienes esos frutos en tu vida. Go down to verse number 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 
Vamos a ir al versículo 15 y dice, procura con diligencia presentarte a Dios aprobado como obrero que no tiene de qué avergonzarse, que usa bien la palabra de verdad. Verse number 16, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Mas evita profanas y vanas palabrerías, porque conducirán más y más a la impiedad. And their word will eat as doth a canker of, and these are some names, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus. Su palabra carcomerá como gangrena, de los cuales son Himeneo y Fileto. And he continues to talk about what happened with them, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the faith of some. Que desviaron la verdad diciendo que la resurrección ya se efectuó y trastornaron la fe de algunos. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Pero el fundamento de Dios está firme teniendo ese sello. Conoce el Señor a los que son suyos. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Y aparte de iniquidad todo aquel que invoca el nombre de Cristo. Everyone say depart from iniquity. Todos digan aparte de iniquidad. But, amen. <laughs> But in a great house, and this is where I, the key verses are, But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Pero en una casa grande, no solamente hay utensilios de oro y de plata, sino también de madera y de barro. Unos son para usos honrosos y, y otros para usos viles. This word is better than anything I could ever speak. I just want to lay that out right now. Este versículo es lo mejor que yo, de, de cualquier cosa que yo pudiera decir. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Así que si alguno se limpia de estas cosas, será instrumento para honra, santificado, útil al Señor y dispuesto para toda buena obra. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, Peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes. Pero desecha las cuestiones necias e insensatas sabiendo que engendran contiendas. And the core of this message is found in 24 through 26. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. Porque el siervo del Señor no debe ser contencioso, sino amable para con todos, apto para enseñar, sufrido, que con mansedumbre corrija a los que se oponen, por si quizá Dios le conceda que se arrepientan para conocer la verdad. And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Y que escapen del lazo del diablo en que están cautivos a voluntad de él. Matthew, Matthew 3, verse number 7, turn with me there. Mateo, uh, capítulo 3, versículo 7. This is John the Baptist speaking. He says, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Mateo 3, 7 dice, al ver que muchos de los fariseos y de los saduceos venían a su bautismo, les decía, generación de víboras. ¿Quién os enseñó a huir de la ira venidera? Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance. Hacer pues frutos dignos de arrepentimiento. Today the next few Sundays we will be opening up our eyes to the understanding of the gift that is repentance. El día de hoy en los siguientes domingos vamos a estar abriendo nuestros ojos para entender el regalo de lo que es el arrepentimiento. But also the fruit that is born from it. Y también los frutos que nacen del arrepentimiento. So Paul is Speaking to Timothy, he is vision casting. He is giving him a process and a plan. Pablo le está hablando a Timoteo, le está dando un plan, un proceso. As we know, Paul wrote majority of the, the New Testament, and he is a master teacher. 
Sabemos que Pablo escribió una gran cantidad del Nuevo Testamento y él es un gran maestro. He's showing Timothy the process of discipleship. He's showing him what he needs to do as a young leader, a young minister of the gospel. Le está mostrando el proceso del discipulado y él como qué es lo que tiene que hacer como un buen líder. He says to him that you must strive for mastery. Y le dice que debe esforzarse para la excelencia. He explains mastery this way that he that strives for mastery is temperate temperate in all things. Y él dice que aquel que está alcanzando, que está luchando. In other words, it's not just one area that he has self-control in. Y lo que está diciendo es que tiene que tener control no solo en una, en solo una área de la vida. So temperate would be self-control. Entonces tener un tempera, tem, templanza. templanza es tener control de algo. Brother Daniel is doing an awesome job. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's mastery is where everything is under the control of Christ. Y esta maestría es cuando todo está al, en control del Señor Jesús. It's where we live in victory. Cuando vivimos en victoria. When this principle is lived out, we have victory in our lives. Cuando tenemos eso, tenemos victoria en nuestras vidas. There is a statement made that only the discipline are truly free. Hay una frase que dice que solo aquellos que son disciplinados son verdaderamente be, libres. Because if there's something that has overcome us or overcome me in my life, porque si algo que no hemos podido vencer, or there's a sin that I can't overcome, un, un pecado que no podemos dejar a un lado, I am in bondage. Estamos atados. I am bound by that sin. Estamos atados a este pecado. If there is something I don't have control in or an area I don't have discipline in, I am ensnared by it. Si estoy en algo que no tengo control, en un área que no tengo disciplina, estoy atado a esto. It is an area that I don't have power in. Es una área en la que no tengo poder. It is a stronghold. Es una fortaleza. So Paul says that it is the will of God for you to operate in mastery. Pablo dice que es la voluntad de Dios que operemos en maestría. So he, he explains it. He says that when you strive for mastery, you have to do things lawfully. Y él dice que cuando estás luchando por eso debes hacer las cosas legítimamente. If you're going to run the race, si vas a correr la carrera, you need to stay inside the lines. Debes estarte, mantenerte dentro de las líneas. You don't want to get disqualified from the race. No quieres estar descalificado de la carrera. You don't want to get halfway through on mile 27. <laughs> no quieres estar en la mitad de aquella carrera, en la, en la milla 27. Because yeah, it's a long race. <laughs> es, es una carrera muy larga. You, you, you want to just keep going, but stay within the line so that we're not disqualified. We want to, to follow and be lawf work lawfully within those confines. He's saying, Timothy, you have gifts, you have a calling. Y Pablo le dice a Timoteo, tú tienes un llamado, tú tienes talentos. You have potential, you've got the character. Tú tienes potencial, tú tienes un carácter. And I'm developing you through all of this. Te estoy enseñando a través de todo esto. I'm not telling you this so that you'd go slower. No te estoy diciendo esto para que vayas más lento. But I'm telling you this because you need to keep on running. Te digo esto porque tú tienes que seguir corriendo. You need to keep on going forward. Tienes que seguir hacia adelante. You're going to learn things along the way. Vas a aprender cosas cuando vayas. But church, you need to keep on running. Pero iglesia, tenemos que seguir corriendo. You need to keep on growing. Tenemos que seguir creciendo. We need to keep on moving forward. Tenemos que seguir moviéndonos hacia adelante. This is a lifetime commitment. Este es un compromiso por toda la vida. And you know, maybe someone here is saying, you know, I, I don't need anything else from God. I'm good. Tal vez alguien aquí en este lugar diga, yo no, yo no necesito algo de Dios. Yo estoy bien. I've already been baptized. I've already, already repented. You know, everything is good, Pastor. What else do I need to do? Tú puedes decir, ya he sido bautizado, ya me arrepentí, ya estoy sirviendo, todo está bien, Pastor. ¿Qué más quieres que haga? I have a question for you. Yo tengo una pregunta para ti. How many brushed their teeth this morning? ¿Cuántos cepillaron sus dientes esta mañana? Wow. <laughs> We got a problem. <laughs> Tenemos un problema. How many brushed their teeth this morning? ¿Cuántos se lavaron los dientes esta mañana? So, hopefully everybody. <laughs> Ojalá que todos se lavaron los dientes en la mañana. You know, the idea is, well, 
You know, some people will be like, well, I already brushed my teeth once. Algunos dirán, pero yo ya me, yo ya me lavé los dientes una vez. Here's some deep revelation. Te quiero dar una revelación muy profunda. You need to brush them more than once. Tienes que lavar tus dientes más que una sola vez. You know, some of you need to brush them at least twice a day. Algunos de ustedes tienen que hacerlo mínimo dos veces al día. Otherwise, you're going to be looking like a hillbilly saying, that's a pretty tooth. Porque si no, vas a quedarte sin dientes. No! You see, if we maintain our bodies and the hygiene that we have, y mantenemos nuestros cuerpos y nuestra higiene, if we're not walking around with stinky armpits, porque no vamos a caminar con oliendo amen, mal en nuestros brazos, put some deodorant on, ponte un desodorante, young people, your, ar your armpits shouldn't smell like funky toes, okay? Put some deodorant on. Parents, buy some deodorant for your kids, trust me. Jóvenes, usen desodorante, padres, compren desodorante para sus hijos. Those buses were funky. <laughs> Esos buses solían un poquito mal. Not on the girls' bus, that's right. <laughs> But, you see, if we're constantly refreshing ourselves in the natural, y si estamos constantemente cuidando nuestro cuerpo en lo natural, how much more should we be refreshing ourselves in the spirit? Más debemos hacer esto en el espíritu? You see, I look at it like this. Uh, if you have a car, you have to put gas in it. You need to get an oil change. Tienes que cambiar el aceite. You know, gas could be looked at, we could use it as an example of gas is like prayer. Podemos tal vez decir que la gasolina es como la oración. We gotta keep that prayer in our tank. Debemos mantener esta oración en el tanque. We gotta pray every day. Debemos orar cada día. Okay? And then maybe fasting is like that oil change. Or like that big maintenance thing that we have to do on it. Y tal vez el ayuno es como este mantenimiento, el cambio de aceite, o un mantenimiento más grande que solo la gasolina. We need to consistently be addressing ourselves spiritually. Debemos que estar consistentemente. Constantemente estar mirando a nosotros mismos, examinándonos. Some of you need an oil change. Algunos de nosotros necesitamos un cambio de aceite. Some of you haven't fasted for over a year. Muchos no han ayunado por más de un año. Some of you are like, yeah, I fast, pastor. Algunos dicen, yo sí ayuno, pastor. From 9 p.m. to 8 a.m. De 9 de la noche a 8 de la mañana. Fasting all night while I'm sleeping. Toda la noche cuando estoy durmiendo. And if you're waking up at 8 a.m., wake up a little earlier, please. Unless you're on nights. Si despiertas a las 8, por favor, despiértate más temprano, a menos de que estés trabajando en la noche. My wife will crucify me right now because I'm, I'm an early bird. I'm an early bird. Yo me despierto muy temprano. Anyways, Paul said, if you want to please him, you can't entangle yourself with the affairs of this world. Pablo le dijo a Timoteo que si tú quieres agradar al Señor, no puedes estar enredado en los negocios de la vida. When he's talking about affairs, he's talking about the, the things that you do every day, the daily tasks that you have, the work that you do. We all have to put bread on the table somehow. Cuando está hablando de los negocios, está hablando de, 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 de las cosas que hacemos a diario, de traer el sustento a la casa. So you're going to be out there, whether or not you're in school, or you're going to be out there in the workplace, or you're going to be out in public. Entonces tú vas a estar allá afuera trabajando, haciendo algo en, en público. And there's going to be people that don't have faith. Y van a haber personas que no tienen fe. And so Paul's saying, hey, don't get entangled with it, Tim Timothy. Y Pablo le está diciendo a Timoteo, no, no te enredes en estas cosas, Timoteo. You're going to be in the world, but you're not supposed to be of the world. Tú vas a estar en el mundo, pero no, no vas a ser del mundo. So Timothy, don't get wrapped up in the gossip that's going on. No te quedes enredado en el chisme, Timoteo. Don't get consumed by comparing yourself. No, no te consumas comparándote uno a otro. Don't be slandering other people in the other departments that are making your job more difficult. No hables de otros departamentos que están haciendo tu trabajo más difícil. You see, mastery is allowing yourself to operate in this culture. Y la maestría es permitir que tú operes en esta cultura. But you're able to walk through it and it doesn't even get to touch you. Tú caminas en esto pero no te toca. Rather the opposite. Y a pasar lo opuesto. You begin to affect the culture. Tú vas a dar un, hacer un impacto en la cultura. You see, when I'm no longer tempted by things anymore. Cuando ya no eres tentado por las cosas. Suddenly, I become an example of someone that is free. Te vas a convertir en un ejemplo de alguien que ha sido liberado. I become someone that is broken away from the status quo. Me convierto en alguien que ha sido 
liberado de lo normal, de la rutina. Everyone else is doing something, but hey, why, why, are, why are you not doing that? Y los demás están haciendo algo y, y se preguntan, ¿y tú por qué no haces esto? You know what? That's a great question. You see, I used to struggle with that, but I have been made free through Jesus, and now I don't struggle with it anymore. Es una buena pregunta porque yo sufría con eso, pero ahora el Señor me ha liberado y ahora soy libre. I don't know about you, but we need to be affecting the culture today, not bringing the culture in. Debemos afectar nuestra cultura, no dejar que la cultura nos afecte. You see... People are going to see something different about you. Las personas van a ver algo diferente en ti. They see a transformation right in front of them. Ellos ven una transformación en frente de sus ojos. And I guarantee you, this world is hungry. They want to be free. They want to know what is different about you. Te garantizo que este, este mundo está hambriento. Ellos quieren saber qué es lo que está diferente en ti. We, we have jobs, we have responsibilities, but we have kingdom business that is way more important. It is way more valuable for eternity than anything else. Todos tenemos cosas importantes que hacer en nuestro trabajo, pero también tenemos el trabajo del reino de Dios que es más importante. Don't get entangled, Timothy. No te enredes, Timoteo. Paul talks about the house that God is building. Ah, y Pablo está hablando de, de la casa que el Señor está construyendo. He talks about being a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Dice que debe ser este hombre que no tiene que estar avergonzado. You see, God has plans. He has a strategy. He has a blueprint. El Señor tiene planes. Él tiene una estrategia. Él tiene estas, estos papeles. God has a strategy for what he is doing today. El Señor tiene una estrategia de lo que Él va a hacer hoy. I have felt this so strongly in my spirit that something is shifting in the atmosphere. Tengo algo, siento algo en mi espíritu que algo se está moviendo en la atmósfera. ICF, we are on the brink of breakthrough. Estamos muy cerca de nuestra victoria. You see, there's much opposition that's happening right now. Hay mucha oposición que está pasando ahora mismo. Yet in my spirit there has been so much faith of for what God is going to do. Pero en mi espíritu hay tanta fe en lo que el Señor va a hacer. Come on, you're not hearing me right now. The, no, the opposition just means that we're at the brink of something new. No me estás escuchando. La oposición significa que estamos a punto de alcanzar algo más grande. The opposition is that glass ceiling that we've been chipping away at that is about to open up in the spirit. La posición es aquello que estamos golpeando, que está a punto de quebrarse para alcanzar una bendición. Church, this church is greater than a building. Amen. Una iglesia es más, va más allá que un solo edificio. It's greater than just four campuses. Va más allá que solo cuatro lugares de predicación. God is setting us up for growth. El Señor nos está preparando para crecimiento. But not only just growth. But something that we have never imagined, something that we can't even speak because it is so powerful what he wants to do in and through you and I. Y es algo más que solo crecimiento, algo que nunca hemos visto porque se está preparando para hacer que tú y yo sirvamos y veamos algo que no hemos visto antes. I see if it's not about this organization, it's not about Bishop and I, it's about building the kingdom of God. Y esta iglesia no es cerca de nuestra organización o del obispo, es de lo que el Señor va a hacer, el reino de Dios. It's about saving the lost. Está cerca de salvar las almas. Our methods may change. Tal vez nuestros métodos cambien. But church, we can't. Just lose focus on the important thing. Pero no podemos perder nuestro enfoque en las cosas importantes. We can't just be waiting for the next building. No podemos estar, solo estar esperando por el siguiente edificio, el siguiente propiedad. We're not in the real estate business. We're in the soul saving business. No estamos en el negocio de comprar casas. Estamos en el negocio de las almas. This hospital we call the church is expanding into the streets. Este hospital que llamamos iglesia debe expandirse hacia las calles. It's expanding into your homes. Debe ir a tu casa. It's going online throughout the globe. Tiene que estar en el internet en todo el mundo. We have to get out of our comfort zone. Tenemos que salir de nuestra zona de confort. Of doing things as usual. Hacer las cosas como la rutina. We gotta shake up things. Tenemos que movernos. This is God's church. Esta es la iglesia de Dios. And I'm speaking to you here. I'm speaking to you that are here. Te estoy hablando a ti. 
que estás en este lugar ahora mismo. But I'm also speaking to those that are not here yet. Pero también estoy hablando de aquellos que no están aquí todavía. I'm speaking in faith right now to those 12 churches. Estoy hablando en fe a estas 12 iglesias. Those 12 churches are just the beginning. Estas 12 iglesias es solo el comienzo. Those 77 life groups are just the beginning. Los 77 grupos de vida es solo Don't el comienzo. Don't entangle yourself with the world. No te enredes en este mundo. Paul said, "Don't trouble yourself with people that are just wasting time." Pablo dijo, "No te quedes con personas que solo están perdiendo el tiempo." But invest in the hungry, invest in the thirsty. Pero invierte en aquel que está hambriento y sediento. And I know that all of you are hungering and thirsting for His righteousness. Yo sé que todos nosotros estamos acá hambrientos y sedientos por la justicia de Dios. I need you to speak faith like never before, church. Yo necesito que empieces a hablar fe como nunca antes lo has hecho. I need you to back us up and speak faith like never before. Necesito que nos apoyes y que hables en fe como nunca antes lo has hecho. Trust me, I'm talking about repentance, but I am setting up a foundation right now that we will begin to speak in faith like never before. Estoy hablando de arrepentimiento y necesitamos hablar fe como nunca más, como nunca antes lo hemos hecho. And if you're going to cast doubt, get out of the way. No vas a hacerlo. Por favor, muévete a un lado. I challenge you, I implore you, speak faith. Te animo y te reto que hables fe. Oh, Jesus, lift your hands with me. Levanta tus manos conmigo. Jesus. Stand with me. I don't think I'm going to get through even half of this message. Stand with me right now. Raise your hands right now. Submit your hearts to what God is doing. Some of you have been so entangled with the situations in your life. Algunos de nosotros hemos estado tan enredados con situaciones de nuestra vida. With the challenges that you've been going through. Y con las cosas que han pasado en tu vida. But I'm telling you, you are my brother, you are my sister. We are in this together right now. Pero te digo, tú eres mi hermano y mi hermana, y estamos en esto juntos. More than ever before, faith has to be spoken into the earth. Faith has to be spoken right now into the callings that are on your lives. Nunca antes debemos hablar fe y el llamado que está en tu vida. Don't entangle yourself with the affairs of this world. No te enredes en los negocios de esta vida. If you've been struggling with faith, si has estado luchando con fe. If you've been struggling with bitterness, si has estado luchando con amargura. If you've been struggling with doubt, o si estás luchando con la duda. The gift of repentance is here today. El, el don del arrepentimiento está aquí en este lugar. There is no condemnation here. No hay condenación. Repentance is a gift of a second chance. El, arrepent el arrepentimiento es un don de la segunda oportunidad. I don't know about you, but I'm on my 1,500,000 chance that he's given me but it's a gift that he keeps on giving every single time but I, I can't go any further right now those of you that are wanting to go further those of you that are wanting to grow those of you that need to, to cast off some of those things that you've been entangled with I want you to step forward today todos aquellos que quieran seguir adelante, que quieren dejar a un lado los negocios que han estado enredados, te invito a que vengas y des un paso al frente. If you need the gift of the Holy Ghost today, God wants to fill you with it. Si necesitas el don del Espíritu Santo, el Señor te quiere llenar It is hoy. the only way that you will be able to receive power from Him to overcome. Es la única manera en que tú puedes recibir poder para que puedas vencer. John 3 says that you must be born of the water and of the Spirit. La Biblia dice en Juan 3 que debes nacer del agua y del Espíritu. So right now, wherever you're at, donde quiera que te encuentres, if you've been feeling opposition, si has estado sintiendo oposición, if you've been feeling challenged right now in your spirit, si has estado sintiendo que te has sentido retado, if there's things that have been distracting you, si hay cosas que te han, que te han, que te han distraído, 
Repentance is here. El arrepentimiento está aquí. Why am I saying repentance? ¿Por qué estoy diciendo arrepentimiento? Because some of us have iniquity in our hearts. Porque tenemos iniquidad en nuestros corazones. Some of us have put our will before the will of God. Hemos puesto nuestra voluntad por encima de la voluntad de Dios. And there is unity in this house right now. Pero hay unidad aquí en este lugar. Every single one of you are called of God. Todos hemos sido llamados por el Señor. Every single one of you have a place in this body. Todos tenemos un lugar en el cuerpo de Cristo. And if you're struggling with that right now, say, Lord, help me with my unbelief. Si estás luchando con esto, dile, Señor, ayuda a mi incredulidad. Lord, help my unbelief. Señor, ayuda a mi incredulidad. And so right now, the gift of faith is being released. Y el don de la fe está siendo en este lugar. But not only that, I want you to release faith into the atmosphere for what he's going to do. Lord, help my unbelief. Señor, ayuda mi incredulidad. I'm battling right now. Estoy batallando con esto. I am struggling right now. Estoy luchando con esto. But Lord, I operate in faith. Pero, I say you will do it. Pero, Señor, voy a operar en fe. Voy a decir, Tú lo vas a hacer. I say, nevertheless, thy will be done. Voy a decir, tu voluntad sea hecha. I want you to speak to the situation right now. Creo que hables a tu situación. Come on, you know what it is. Tú sabes cuál situación es. You know what it is. Tú sabes lo que es. I don't know what it is. Yo no sé cuál es tu situación. If you know that God has been calling you, si tú sabes que el Señor te ha estado llamando, if you know that He's been working on you, Sabes que el Señor ha estado trabajando en tu vida. Speak it right now. Háblalo. Speak it right now. Proclámalo, dilo. Yo lo busco rabasaya dosa. Yo lo barria soco y anda la basi. Ando lo busca ella más soco y anda la bosa. Yo no lo borro cosa y anda la basi. Yo no lo borria casa y ella. Jesus. We're going to do something a little different right now. I'm really happy right now. I'm being dead serious. I'm really happy right now that there is not a crazy emotional response. Estoy alegre de que no hay una respuesta emocional. Okay? Because faith is a principle. Porque la fe es un principio. Faith is a principle. Es un principio. Faith is not an emotion. La fe no es una emoción. Emotions are great. Las emociones son importantes. God gave them to us for a reason. But you see, faith operates when you speak. Pero la fe opera cuando tú hablas. Because the only way that faith will operate is when there is something that you don't have control over. Porque la única manera que puedes operar en fe es cuando tienes algo que no tienes control. So if you know something's going to happen, si tú sabes que algo va a pasar, that's not faith. No es fe. But when you operate, it's, it says it's the substance of things what? Hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. And so when we operate in faith, we are speaking things into existence that are not there. Cuando operamos en fe, estamos hablando cosas que no, no están en este momento. God is imparting pasando. right now. I don't know if you feel that in the atmosphere right now. He is imparting faith to you right now. Señor está impartiendo fe en este momento. Faith to operate in ways that you have never operated before. Está dando fe para que operes en lugares que nunca antes has operado. So right now, I'll just close your eyes wherever you're at. Quiero que cierres sus ojos donde quiera que estés. What is it that God wants for you? ¿Qué es lo que el Señor quiere de ti? What is it that God has called you to do? ¿Qué es esto que el Señor te ha llamado a hacer? What is challenging you right now in your spirit? ¿Qué te está dejando no seguir adelante en tu espíritu? I want you to do that right now and I want you 
to begin to raise your voice, begin to speak things into the atmosphere right now. Speak those promises right now into the atmosphere. You can't do this through your natural mind, it is through the Spirit. to gather together in unity right now. I want you to speak to every single borough right now. Every single community that is in Chicago, we believe that there will be a life group there. I ask, I ask Pastor Nick, I ask Pastor Nick how many we had just in Chicago. He told, he, he told me we only have five. Right. Not five total life groups, but five in the city. Is that discouraging? No. No. That's not discouraging. Do you know why? Because life group leaders are here right now. Because we have people that are called to start life groups here in this place. We have life groups that leaders that will be in the second service. We have leaders that will be coming and being one to the Lord that will go out and start life groups. Do I know their names? Yo sé sus nombres. No. No. But what am I doing right now? ¿Qué estoy haciendo ahora? Speaking faith. Estoy hablando en fe. Are your ears open? Sus oídos están abiertos. So let's speak faith right now. Vamos a hablar en fe ahora mismo. You don't have to clap. Speak it out. There will be. 77 life groups in every single community there will be 77 life groups in every single community of Chicago I wonder I'm sorry Sister G I wonder let, 
Let's cut the music real quick. Okay? We're so used to having the emotion of music, and I love worship. It is a passion of mine. Estamos tan acostumbrados a escuchar una música y ser emocionales. Let's speak it right now. Pero vamos a hablar en fe. There will be 77 lives in Chicago. In Chicago. De vida en cada comunidad de Chicago. The spirit of violence will be bound in our city. Let it be done, God. Lord, you will open the eyes of every lost soul. You will open up the ears of every lost soul to hear and to see the kingdom of God. You will pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Lord, your word says it, and I proclaim it right now, that you will pour your spirit out upon all flesh. Come on, church, speak that out right now. You don't need to focus on yourself right now. Focus on the souls. Focus on the harvest. Lord, I will be involved. I will be involved with reaching the lost. I will be the laborer that is sent into the harvest. Lord, I will lay aside my problems. I will lay aside my challenges. And I will be the one that walks in to the harvest field because it is white. It is ready. It is prepared for me. And so, Father, I pray right now, unity be in this house. Come on, church. Speak that out right now. Speak that out right now. Lord, I proclaim that millions, that millions will be born again of the water of the Spirit here in Chicago. Come on, speak that out right now. I proclaim that not just thousands, but millions, Lord, will be born into the kingdom of God here in Chicago. All two million that are in Chicago, all nine million that are in the Chicagoland area, I proclaim salvation right now. I proclaim that you will reach in to the darkness and that the light will shine in the city. I proclaim that I am the light of the Lord. I proclaim that I will be your light, that nothing will shut us down. Come on, this is apostolic right now. This is apostolic right now. Father, we can't we can't keep operating on just a million dollars. Lord, I proclaim billions of dollars to come into the kingdom of Christ. I proclaim endless amounts of money to come through the church, God. I pray right now that the mission's budget would be increased, God, not just to the hundreds of thousands, but to the billions, God. I proclaim it right now in the name of Jesus. You are the provider. We will not be bound by the mentalities of this world. We will not be bound by the thought processes of this world, but we will receive abundance we will live in abundance. There will not just be 12 buildings. There will be hundreds. There will be thousands of buildings that are speaking and proclaiming the apostolic one God, Holy Ghost message of the book of Acts. Hanalabasa, <laughs> 
If, if it is appropriate, I want you to grab the hand of your brother or your sister next to you. Father, I bless my brother. I bless my sister. I bless my partner in the body of Christ. I bless them right now. I pray that you would use them in the greatest way possible, God. Come on, pray over them right now. Pray over them right now. You are my brother. You are my sister. We will be unified in the vision. We will be unified in the mission. We will be partners in this challenge that we have to reach the city of Chicago and to reach the world with the whole gospel to the whole world. Father, I bless them, Lord. I pray, God, Lord, that any distractions that they may battle, be battling with, God, I pray, Lord, I lift them up, God. I fight the battle with them, God. Lord, I lift them up right now. I stand in the gap for my brother. I stand in the gap for my sister, God. Devil, get your hands off of them right now. Devil, get your hands off their mind. Lord, I pray over their family, God. I pray over their home, God. I pray over them right now, Lord. Keep them, Lord. Keep them safe, God. Cover them, Lord Jesus. Clap your hands to the Lord. Let's thank him right now for what he's doing. For what he's going to do. We're going to be dismissing in a moment. I want this house to be reverence. I want it to be a house of prayer. Vamos a ser despedidos en un momento. Quiero que esta casa sea respetada. Va a ser una casa de oración. I want to encourage you that you listen to next service's message as well. Te invito a que escuches el mensaje del siguiente servicio. Because there will be a flow to these next few Sundays of what God is going to be doing. Porque habrá una secuencia de lo que el Señor va a hacer en esos servicios. I don't know if I'll get to anything else in the next service. No sé si voy a seguir a un punto más profundo de lo que hice en ese servicio. And so if I don't, I'll get to it next Sunday. But I want us to be in prayer this week. Pero creo que estemos en oración esta semana. And I just feel this in my spirit right now. I need several of you to be fasting this week. Necesito que algunos de ustedes estén ayunando esta semana. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands. I'm just asking you as your pastor. I need you to pray for my wife and I. I need you to pray for our bishop and Sister G this week. The battles are real. Las batallas son reales. And we need you. Y te necesitamos. We need your prayers. Necesitamos tus oraciones. I'm not making this about myself. I'm making it about him. And because we want to be used by him. No quiero hacer, hacer esto acerca de mí, pero porque queremos ser usados I'm asking you to fast and to pray for the things that we spoke into the atmosphere. I am asking you to speak faith and to get behind your pastor and speak faith with me. You know me, I'm a very practical person. There is processes, there are ways that we need to do it. There's methods. 
hay procesos y hay métodos que debemos hacer esto. But I need you to get behind and speak faith. Unify with us and speak faith into the atmosphere. Necesito que me apoyes y que hables fe hacia la atmósfera, que hables fe conmigo. Would you raise your hands as we dismiss, Father? Lord, the prayers that have been spoken today, I pray that you would cover them from the ears of the enemy. Lord, that they would be confused, that they would not see what is coming. I pray, Lord, right now that you would protect, that you would cover, Lord, every single person that is in this room, God. I pray, Lord, right now that if the enemy were to try and attack, that they would be reminded of this prayer right now, that they are in the will of God, and that they are operating in a faith that they have never operated in before, and they have received the gift of repentance today that is available for them. And I pray right now, Lord, lead them. Lead their steps, God. Lead my steps, Lord. Let them be ordered by you, God, in the precious name of Jesus. Can we thank the Lord, and can we please... prayer music and can we please reverence the sanctuary